Hey, what's going on everybody? I thought uh, for my first video involving the new power update version 2.1.0.18, as you see in the upper right, instead of doing just a gameplay video, I thought I would do a little comparative uh, video with, as you may or may not know, they've added DLSS support for um, NVIDIA 2000 and 3000 series RTX cards. So I'm going to put my system specifications up on the screen here for you to see. And this is not going to be extremely scientific because it's only based on my system, of course. And obviously there's a million variations out there. And I'm not going to have a lot of charts and data points that I can show like a scientifically run comparison that a tech tuber kind of thing would do. But just for comparison purposes, I'm going to do the benchmarks in game with my system with an uh, 2080 Super and I'm going to run the different levels of DLSS I'll show you the under the graphics you've got Nvidia DLSS here so without it turned on I'll run with my basic settings here previous to having uh, DLSS which is HQTAA texture quality high shadow very high etc and then I will turn it on, I'll do performance, and I'll do balance, and I'll do quality. And I'll do that for at least two of the um, in-game benchmarks, just for the sake of um, comparing how they look, and we'll see what the differences are in performance. And then just based on my system alone, hopefully you can kind of extrapolate what kind of a difference it'll make in your own system. Now, mind you, this is only if you have a 2000 or a 3000 series card at least a 2060 as you can see here so anyway let's get to it depending how long these benchmarks I'll take I may do a third set of benchmarks but I'm planning on at least the tank battle and the tank battle CPU one just to see what kind of difference there is and just compare how it looks and what the performance numbers are so all right onward
Well, there you go, folks. Uh, just for comparison, this is DLSS on to the quality setting in the hangar. And, of course, it's the nighttime on the hangar, which changes on its own, I think. But anyway, it almost looks like a tilt-shifted picture to me right there with the out-of-focus background. But I thought maybe, uh, you know, for something a little different and for comparative purposes, uh, I would just show you the different settings for those of you who either have or are looking into getting a 2000 or a 3000 series RTX video card. So that's really it. Um, I hope that the, uh, the last bit with the comparison of all four shots, all four settings rather, kind of helped a little bit. You can actually see in the uh in the center bits especially where the borders were of those four different shots you can see how different the smoke volume is because it doesn't line up the same so the explosions and everything you can see that they're completely different the background and everything is lined up exactly the same but the explosions are completely different size and volume and shape and everything which i thought was kind of a neat little indicator for comparison purposes so there you go let me know what you guys think about uh, this comparison in the comments below and if you have a 3000 series card, especially 30, 70, um, 80, or 90, let me know how this game looks for you on super maxed out settings if you're running them that way. And other than that, I hope you guys like this. If you aren't able to have that sort of a level of system detail, hopefully this lets you know what the game looks like if you are ever able to get to that that uh, level of PC technology. So not everyone can have it, not everyone can afford it. So that's all right. If you can't, don't feel bad. I'm not putting this out there to show off my system as much as I am putting it out there to show you a comparison of what it looks like, just in case anyone might be deciding, hmm, I want to save some money to get a blank, blank video card. And then they might see this and think, oh, never mind. Or they might see this and think, oh, okay, I do want to do that. So that was my reasoning behind doing this video. And with that, I'll wrap it up and tell you all thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Actual real gameplay content coming up very, very, very soon. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.